big tech is secretly rewriting some of its scary, crash-prone guts of their systems in Rust because it gives a competitive advantage from reliability and performance gains to critical components. Rust gives you C-like performance while the compiler blocks entire classes of bugs before your code runs. For years, a lot of the internet's core was built with C and C++. They're insanely powerful, but when they crash, some on-call dev gets their weekend ruined. Rust has memory safety, no surprise memory cleanup, and safer concurrency. Big companies are doing this in secret because it gives a competitive edge, more reliability, and less cost. And they don't need massive rewrites. They can swap out dangerous parts in their workflow, and there's no marketing for this because the general public just doesn't care. So who's doing what? AWS made a thing called Firecracker that spins up tiny virtual computers super fast to run serverless code. They wrote it in Rust so each little computer bubble stays safe from the others and boots in milliseconds. Microsoft is sliding Rust into parts of Windows, the low-level stuff to prevent blue screens. Discord took a service written in Go, moved it to Rust, and saw 10x speedups. Dropbox rewrote major chunks of its file sync brain in Rust, so less CPU usage. And Cloudflare replaced parts of the traffic handling stack, and they built a proxy called Pingora in Rust. The Linux kernel now allows writing drivers in Rust. But if Rust is so great, why not everywhere tomorrow? Well, there's a learning curve, and it takes time. Also, performance upgrades are only really useful in big projects. So should you learn Rust? I don't know. You tell me.